Hey guys, Mike here from Friction Jewelry. I uh, wanted to do a quick video on safety glasses for permanent jewelry welding, uh, micro TIG welding. There's not a lot of information on the internet about it. Um, I'm like diving into chat GPT. I am, you know, emailing people, American Welding Society, look, trying to read up, you know, standards online, uh, publications from ANSI and, and, and all, these, all these periodicals, really trying to figure out like what's safe, right? Um, so anyway, Here's where I'm at, here's what I found out, check it out. Okay, so as far as safety glasses for welding go, uh, outside of using a helmet for, you know, big baking buildings, mainly you're dealing with like sunglasses, right? They kind of look like super dark sunglasses and they're differentiated by their shade level. Uh, the base, sort of base level for quote welding glasses is a shade five. I literally have like six pairs of these things. Um, I've been giving them to my clients. This is the one that I've been wearing, it's a Hobart. Uh, been super comfortable. They look like you're um, like a serial killer, but whatever. Uh, and you know, they've been working okay, right? I don't have any pain. I'm not seeing like floating images, but lately, like my vision has been a little sketchy. So I just want to see if they're dark enough. And then as I, you know, I get into my research, I'm like, nobody recommends shade five for welding of any type. And then, okay. So I pulled out my old you know, got the dust off the old auto darkening lens from Orion and sure enough, shade eight to 11 on their um, protective shield. So why do they sell shade five glasses when it seems to be apparent to me that shade eight is required? I don't know, um, but I've done probably a thousand clients now and I'm sure I've overly fried my eyes because I wasn't using dark enough glasses. So that sucks for me, but that's why I'm making this video to try to help you guys out. So. I went back on Amazon, I Googled, you know, shade eight welding glasses. I got two pairs in the mail recently. Uh, this one's from Up Eclair. This one, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, this was like 30 bucks. These are like $45. They are dark. Uh, these are kind of cool. They have this like flip function. Um, so you can kind of, you know, throw them on, see what you're doing. And then when you're ready to go, boom. To, just to try to show you what the difference between a five and an eight is, check out this little clip I made. All right, so on the top, I have the shade five, and on the bottom, I have the shade eight. And just, I try to put like a white background down. That's the shade five, and that is the shade, sorry, you can see the, there's some inner reflection going on there, but it's it's much darker. Like, you know what I mean? Like it is, it is noticeably dark. So not super easy to see uh, from that clip, but, the difference is super noticeable when you're wearing the glasses. The Shade 5 glasses are like dark, dark sunglasses, right? You can still see the spark and you can still see what you're doing and that's great. But if you're not protecting your eyes enough, what's the point? You know, so I honestly think this should be your standard, these Shade 8 glasses. Now, all you'll need to use these is more light on your work surface. So if you've got one of these um, LED magnifying ring glasses that you can, because I can't see anything, so I need a magnifying glass at all times. Um, the brighter this is, the better off you're going to be when you use super, super dark glasses. Um, if you try to use it without light, forget it. You, you can barely see the hand in front of you when you wear these glasses. Um, you know, when I put shade eight on, I can't see my phone at all. It's dark. So as long as you have a super bright working light, those glasses are going to protect your eyes and they're going to just, they're actually just more comfortable to weld under like the brightness of the, of the flash, especially when you're when your, uh, your settings are up a little higher for a thicker, thicker gauge wire, um, they're just more comfortable to use. So for me, all of these shade five glasses, I'll still give them to my clients. I think they're safe enough for, for that purpose when you're just watching like one time, or if I've got a group of like eight people and everyone's like hollow around, I've got plenty of these glasses I can hand out. Everybody can watch and make kind of experience of it with it. But for me, yeah, I'm going to be wearing the dark glasses. I also highly recommend these little lanyards. They're sweet because they can just hang like that, you know, then you don't have to put them on your head, whatever. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think, what you use uh, for for welding. And I also wanna hear from you if you use the auto darkening lens. Um, I recently ordered the upgraded lens, which I'm gonna try to review when it comes in. I wanna hear from, you know, about your experiences with using these lenses versus sort of freehand uh, welding, which is, you know, what I do and I'm super comfortable with. But if it's gonna cost me my vision, or it's going to even cost me a 1% of my vision, 
you know, I'm thinking maybe I should switch to the lens, to the auto darkening lens. So I ordered the upgraded one. When it comes in, I'll let you know. But for now, highly recommend leveling up, use dark glasses, the darkest ones that you can, you can really function with. That's pretty much what's, what everyone recommends. So that's what I'd recommend to you. But, you know, I'm not a scientist, but I want you guys to be safe. I'm going to try to be as safe as I can. And that's it. So have a great day and happy welding.